Hello, children of God. Have you ever been sick before? Chances are you've encountered some sort of an illness in your life. Now, what are things that help when you're not feeling well? When you're sick, what sort of things might you do? Maybe, maybe you just want to rest. You just want to curl up with a blanket and take a nap. That's helpful a lot of times. Or relax and watch TV or flip through a book or a magazine or something. Sometimes that's what I want to do when I'm not feeling great. Or maybe your mom makes you some chicken soup. Or maybe you're so sick that you have to go to the doctor and they prescribe you some sort of medicine that you have to take in order to get better. But chances are you trust who's taking care of you. You listen to your mom and hopefully do what she suggests because you know it'll make you feel better. Or you trust the doctor's orders and do what the doctor tells you to feel better. And eventually, within a few days or so, generally, you improve. Your health gets better and you feel back to normal again. Well, what if you didn't? What if you were so sick you were almost dead? That'd be a little scary, right? Or what if you were sick for a long time? Years, in fact, part of your entire life. Then you'd probably feel a little more worried than if you just had a cold or a cough for a couple of days. Well, Jesus encountered people like this in his life and ministry on earth. He helped people and he healed people. In fact, there's a passage in Mark chapter five that discusses a couple of people he encountered that really needed his help. One of them was a woman who had had a problem going on for 12 years. That's like probably longer than you've been alive. And she didn't know where to turn to for help. She had tried everything and every doctor, but she believed that Jesus could help her. And she thought, you know, if I can just get close enough to touch him, I'll be healed. And she got close to him and touched just the hem of his robe. And that was all it took. She was instantly healed. And Jesus knew that he had done it. He knew that someone somewhere had needed his help and he had given it. And he was impressed by her faith. She was impressed that she was finally healed. Well, in that same story, there's a young girl who was so sick that she actually died. Her dad came to Jesus for help. And some people said, you know what? She's already dead. Jesus can't help you now. What's he gonna do? She's gone. Well, Jesus came to the house where she was and said, hey, she's only asleep. Get up. And sure enough, she came back to life from the dead. Jesus can heal anything and anyone, even problems that seem hopeless, even things that seem too far gone. Jesus was able to work miracles, was able to do anything. And these people put their trust in him. Well, we can put our trust in Jesus as well. We know that he can help anything, any problem that we might have physical or emotional or mental, anything. He can help. He can heal. He loves us that much and has that power. And we can have trust in him. We can believe in what he will do. But you know, that might not always happen in the way and time we would want. We might pray for miracles that don't happen. We might be sick and pray that you're better and maybe we don't get better. We might pray for a loved one who doesn't see the earthly healing we want. Sometimes things are sad on this earth. Sometimes there's even death, but we still have hope in Jesus because he has given us the greatest miracle of all, his resurrection from the dead. Because of that, we know that we have life in him, that he forgives all of our sins, cleanses us, from the sickness of our hearts, and that one day we will get to be with him in heaven. That's what we can put our trust, our faith, and our hope into. That even if we don't have all the answers now, we'll be with him someday. And you know, Jesus does do miracles today. Maybe not in these spectacular ways that we would hope for or expect, but he works daily miracles in us. Did you get up today? Are you breathing? Are you still able to move around? 
All of that is a miracle. All of that is given to us by God. Every small thing we can give thanks for and rejoice in because every good gift comes from him. Jesus is the miracle worker, the great healer of mind, body, and spirit. He was back then, he still is now. So put your trust in him and know that he heals, helps, gives hope, and loves us. Why don't we say our prayer and thank God for that. Dear God, thank you for the healing that you provide. Help us to trust in you, even when we don't understand your ways. Thank you for healing our hearts and for loving us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, have a wonderful week. Go make some disciples. See you next time.